Join us today as we explore the galleries, parks, cafes, and museums of Mexico City's most popular areas, Condesa and Roma Norte. Alright, so now we have the bikes here to have for free. You just gotta use a little QR code after you connect it. You just scan and give it a moment and it should unlock. That's it, you're good to go. You have 45 minutes to ride the bike for free. If you ride it for an hour, it's only 25 pesos. And you can link it to the Metro card. So if you have that, it'll just deduct it from there. But to ride it more than 45 minutes, I doubt it. We're gonna go to Condesa, let's go check it out. I'm Roddy, and with my wife Landy and our son Louie, we moved to Mexico in 2021 after gaining financial independence through real estate. Join us as we explore Mexico City and everything Mexico has to offer. Okay, so we made it to Condesa on our bikes. And that was Landy's first time on the bike. How'd you yeah, like it? I, I do like it. It's very easy to ride. It has a bell and another gear. Um, yeah, I just enjoy the riding. Uh, there's a bike lane on the Insurgent Avenue. So I feel so safe and so relaxing. It's not many bicycles around me. No. Randomly walk two bikes crossing me. I just enjoy the slow pace. I'm not going anywhere. Just enjoy the riding. And, and it took us about 30 minutes to get here. So again, it was a free ride. Anything under 45 minutes is free. So that's a nice way to get around. And now we're talking about it. It probably would have taken us the same time if we would have taken the, the Metro bus. Yeah. So and it's just another way to get around. It's quite enjoyable. Yeah. The, the bikes are, I think, pretty good quality. It's, it's good. Yeah, the, 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 the gears change very easily and there's a little safety bell. So yeah. overall, I think it's a good experience to ride those uh, eco bikes. came and stopped by this little cafe here to have a little breakfast paquete and we saw a little market down the road and we stopped by and we picked up this little salsa picante which is a little bit unique it's kind of in the chili oil and what makes it a little bit more special is that it is made with a uh, ground sauce, right so we got to try it there it's very spicy a little crunchy i think it'll be good with our tacos and rice so i think it's a uh, 140 pesos bought it from the local lady there can't wait to get home and try it all right, so we weren't quite done after lunch. We still were a little hungry. Stopped here, got some street food. We got a playuda with a nopal and queso. And then I got a, a quesadilla with chicharron and rice and a little bit of hot sauce. Already took a bite. It's very good. Good old street food. Don't forget to like and subscribe us. Hey everybody. Hi. Good morning. So today, well, what are we doing today? We are going to Romanote to explore a little bit more. Yeah, and one of the nice things about actually where we live is just this little bike station that's right behind us. I don't know if you can see it. Um, like I said, these bikes are great. We're just gonna take them, they're free, ride it down to the, the bus and take it a few stops to the Romanote station and just go and kind of enjoy the day, maybe see some shops. I think we're going to see a museum. And what else? And what else? What, what do we see? Yeah, yeah. take we'll, some we'll, video we'll to find share out. with you. Okay, let's go. Now 
we're sitting in the middle. See, the front are for women, back are for everyone. Everybody so else. we're in the middle to share the lovely seat together. <laughs> Okay, so we are now in Roma Norte. The bus we took, our stop, took us about 15 minutes. And we're pretty much right in the heart of uh, Roma Norte, kind of north of Condesa area. We're going to one of the popular areas, the uh, Fuentes de Cibeles. Uh, again, a very popular area for tour buses. Uh, again, meeting spot, a lot of restaurants, bars around it as well. There's we're also a market back. here, closing a good market. Oh yes, as well. So we're just gonna kind of see what's around at the circle here, and we're probably gonna hit up a museum. The name's escaping me right now, but we'll tell you when we get there. And just kind of enjoy the day. Okay, so now we are here in the middle of the Fuente Cibeles, and we were just kind of talking about it. I think our very, very first trip to Mexico City, ooh, many years ago together, uh, we actually came to this spot, and at night it was much different. Oh yeah, there's so many things going on at the night. I remember those, we went to one of the bar, a restaurant here, had some tacos upstairs. And then at night, or no, I think it might have been the same place, downstairs we had the tacos uh -huh. and, and the drinks, and then that's where we had the mariachi band oh, like, uh, yeah. sing with us, and we danced with them. Uh, so again, it's a very popular spot at night. Like I said, a lot of bars and restaurants around here. Also, the stop for the tour bus, as I mentioned, is right across yeah, from us. I'm looking we, at it right where now. Where we took the double deck tour bus here. Before, yeah, that's also right. Which, which took us all the way to Coyoacan. Right. They have many lines. So just again, look for this spot if you're if you're looking for a good spot for food, restaurants, bars, or looking to get onto the tour bus. This is the spot, and get a lot of stuff happening around here. Nice area. A little-known museum in Roma Norte is the Guerrero Tovar de Teresa Museum. It was the home of its namesake and houses a collection of paintings, period engravings, photographs, antique furniture, embroidered tapestries, and a large private library. It's definitely worth checking out if you're in the area, and what's even better is that admission is free. Expect to spend at least 30 minutes to one hour exploring the grounds of this Porfirian mansion, which is considered an artistic heritage site of Mexico. We're here for lunch. We got the little menu of the day, which includes a soup, rice or noodle, and then of course your main dish and the agua de I got tamarindo, Landy got some horchata. This tortilla soup is excellent. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, here comes the main plate, the minanesa, the lettuce, the beef, and uh, I didn't expect the french fries. I don't think I can finish everything. That's a lot of food for 135 pesos.
All right. So we just got done with lunch. Right now we take a little walk. Now we're in the heart of Roma Norte, in the Parque Rio de Janeiro. And if you notice behind us, next we have a replica of the Statue of David. Right here with the fountain, which is not always working, but it is on right now, it's very pretty. We still don't know the working schedule on this fountain. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the heart right now of Roma Norte. We're still just walking around. We're going to go check out a couple of more museums right around the corner. But we just thought we'd um, stop and show you this park. Very nice, very chill. You even have a guy back there just playing the guitar. A lot of people just hanging out. It's a good park just to come and relax. entrance so I have to go all the way up All right, so I hope you enjoyed our little trip around Roma Norte. Again, we're deciding to kind of go home, call it a day. We're gonna take a bike back, a little bit uh, shorter, actually taking the bus because it's more direct, don't have to stop anywhere. We're not sure there are more seats to explore in Roma Norte. We haven't explored everything. Oh yeah, not at all. It was just a couple of hours here, and we just take it slow as we're already living here. There's no rush. Oh yeah, plenty of time to come back and really enjoy the area, and kind of dive deep into these areas and get to know them better uh, the longer we're here. So hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for our next videos. Talk to you soon.